Hey, this is Greg Hawks, and welcome to Sourcing in Real Life After Dark. So I wanted to go through a couple things with Firefox because uh, there's there's word that uh, some of the Google extensions may or may not be closed down in October, which is, I mean, they're always talking about that. They're always talking about um, things that, that will work with LinkedIn, things that won't work with LinkedIn. Uh, I'm not terribly worried because a lot of the extensions that we use on Google Chrome are also on Firefox uh, and I was just digging in uh, a couple days ago just doing doing some research on, on what's available and um, I mean you can literally go on to Firefox look for Google extensions and of course I'm using Google to find it but they have add-ins as well and there's all kinds of things in here that can help with uh, everyday productivity to web scraping to uh, I like to use one extension called multiple URL opener and I found that on here as well so and, and really what what I, I look for is like as far as one of the ones that I do know is on here is web scraper and that's something that uh, that I use on a regular basis that's on here and you can save it same way you add it's basically an add-in plugin same sort of deal, works the same sort of way. This is a developer tool that I use for scraping, so it's more complicated than say like Datamind or something like that, but it, it's still a an alternative in case um, some of our Chrome tools ever go away. Uh, another one I use is multiple URL opener. I've done a, a video on that. That's this one right here. And I mean, you can add in the same way. I've already added this one in. It'll appear up in this bar here. So if I have a list of URLs, I can use this, put in the URLs, and it'll open up all the URLs for me. Web Scraper is here as well. Um, let's see what some other ones that I, I, I use. Um, no pagination, maybe. So there's, there's things around auto pagination. Um, let's see what else. Auto, I don't know what auto click is, but let's see. I wonder if um, search preview is on here. Search preview is on here. that one that's pretty that's pretty great so yeah I mean there are other alternatives there's always another alternative let me see if I've got any other add-ins so these are what I've added I've added um, the multiple URL opener search preview the web scraper uh, I was digging around a little bit with this, uh, like I said, the last couple of days, and I was able to find several of the ones that I use on on uh, on um, Chrome that I use now. I, I, they even have some like the enhancer for YouTube. I've used that on Chrome, so I'll have to dig more into this and and give you guys some more information once I dig into to Firefox a little bit but there's always a different way there's always a different browser there's stuff that works uh, I didn't see I didn't see data miner on here let me see um, Firefox extensions So I didn't see data miner. Data scraper, which is kind of like it, but I, that's one not one that I typically use. It also, this one looks familiar, but I haven't used it. So whenever I'm looking at stuff like this, this might be an auto crawler. Always look at the reviews. I can tell this 2.7 stars, probably not something I want to use. Probably break some rules of some type. 
Um, let's see what else. Uh, what else we have. This one has three stars but two reviews, so that's not one that I would use. And this is better. I mean, eight reviews. That's not a lot, but there's over 2,000 users. It's got 3.9 stars. Uh, I've used Web Scraper before, so I know that it works. It's just it's complicated for a lot of, of, of folks. Let me actually pull up my, one of my Google Chrome windows and see what other extensions I have on here. So maybe we can look, like scroll the bottom is one. Um, tool, toolkit for Facebook, I wonder if Toolkit for Facebook is on here. I don't know what that is, what is that? No, that's something different. Um, Instant data scraper, that's one that I want to look for. Nope. But let's also look for <clears throat> uh, tap info. Nope. That's not on their hire tool. So what I'm seeing, well there's Lucia, there's Signal Hire, there's stuff like it. I wonder if profits on here. Profit. I don't know if that's the actual. No, that's not. That's not our profit. But Lucia's on here. Lucia. Uh, I wonder if um, multi highlight is on here. That's always a good one to have as well. Multi high. Multi highlight. There's a multiple keywords highlighter that looks similar. Yeah, that looks like similar to multi-highlight. Um, over 2,000 users, 52 reviews, 3.5 stars. Mm. I'll add it and see how it works. I'll let you guys know. But so I mean, that's just that's just an example of what you can use a, a different alternative. I mean, you can look on my Chrome. I have a lot of different extensions. But I really only use probably about five to ten of them. So, I mean, you know, there's always a different option. There's always there's always a, another browser that has plugins in. And I know people talk about Firefox uh, occasionally, but maybe we need to start talking about it more, especially if Google's going to change things, uh, if if certain sites with user agreements are going to change things. There's always an alternative answer. So hopefully that helps. Uh, I know I didn't go specifically into any tools today, but I wanted to show you kind of how to search Firefox and, and look for more extensions. I know Dean DaCosta has a ton of extensions both on Chrome and Firefox that that he's done reviews on and things like that. But this is definitely a realm that I'm going to be exploring more into just because I always like to have a backup backup plan to whatever I'm using, whatever I'm, I'm, I'm utilizing. Uh, and I found a couple of extensions that I use on a regular basis. So there's there's solutions around all this. So hopefully that helps. Thanks for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe button and share. And, and let's keep sourcing open source.